Hey everybody, another nutrition video coming your way. So I want to recap what we talked about in the last video. And in the last video, we talked about macronutrients. Now macronutrients are your proteins, your carbs, and your fats. And just so we remember, our carbs and our proteins get us roughly four calories per gram ingested, and our fats get roughly seven to nine calories per gram ingested. So now that, re now that we recap that, let's move on. This week, I wanted to talk about a nutritional pyramid hierarchy or priority list. And where I usually see people, I don't want to say go wrong, but they take a top-down approach rather than a bottom-up and work on our base or foundation. So to help with this, I just printed off a little graphic from the internet that actually highlights my point pretty well. So at the bottom, we have our calories. This is our base. This is our foundation. This is where a lot of people need to start, frankly. Then we actually get into our macronutrients, then our micros, which micros are just basically what you take in your vitamins. So if you've heard of vitamin A, vitamin B, um, vitamin C, vitamin D, all of those things are your micronutrients. Then it's about meal timing. So when you eat um, and kind of when is the best time for certain foods. Then at the very top, that's where you see supplements. And I can't tell you how many times when people are starting their cleaning up their nutrition and their nutritional uh, framework, they start with supplements. So it's like, hey doc, do you recommend creatine? Should I take creatine? What about whey protein, this, that, and every other thing? Hey, I've heard this herb or this supplement can help with my condition. And while all of those may be true, they're ignoring the bottom three or four uh, parts of this pyramid. They either overeat or undereat, in which case the supplements, that's just toss that out the window. They aren't getting the right macronutrient profile for what they want to do. So like, uh, let's take a lifter, for example, a really big power lifter. You want to have a little bit more protein in your system. They might be eating, if we're talking about a percentage in a pie chart, like 20% protein, 40% carb, and 40% fat. That's probably wrong for them. Same thing for different lifestyles and different um, athletic profiles. If we don't take care of these two right here, the biggest ones, the rest are kind of a moot point. So when you guys are starting your journey into cleaning up your diet or to, um, New Year's is gonna be a good one, New Year's resolution, I'm gonna eat healthier, eat cleaner, don't start from the top down. So don't start with, hey, I'm gonna buy $300 worth of supplements that'll last me two months and this this will make me healthier, this will make me feel better. Mm -mm. It's going to be the wrong approach. Or, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm now going to only eat from you know, noon to six. I'm going to do intermittent fasting, which while great for calorie control usually, again, if you're not controlling how many calories and then what macros you're putting in your system, again, not as much of a moot point, but you're not getting the biggest bang for your buck when you're putting in this amount of effort. So... The following videos in the upcoming weeks are going to be talking about each one of these. So next week, we're actually going to, I'm probably going to do both calories and macros in one video, kind of showing, again, what my own profile is, what people should probably, on average, be looking for, and then how to kind of calculate that so that it's a little bit easier to manage in your day-to-day -day life. After that, micronutrients admittedly is a bit of a large topic. Like we can take each one of the micronutrients, talk about what a deficit might look like or feel like, uh, what an overabundance might look like, why certain vitamin C's are better than others, and when are you gonna overdose? And by overdose, I mean after taking a certain threshold, it's a moot point. So micronutrients is actually gonna be a video I'm probably going to skip. Just again, because it is so huge and it's such a huge world of its own. There's literally, I found a book for micronutrients alone that's like 2,000 pages. It's ridiculous. So I'm just going to skip that. But then we're going to talk about meal timing. So the classic would be for diabetics. It's going to be six meals throughout the day spread evenly to keep your blood sugar um, relatively even but then other people want to do intermittent fasting, the pros and the cons. So we're going to get into that when we're talking about meal timing. And then I'm going to talk very, very generally about supplements and who might want to consider some over others. 
After that, it's pretty much just going to be what either comes to me from patients that I work with or any comments that I see in these videos or on Facebook as far as what you guys want covered for nutrition. So quick recap, especially when we're coming up to New Year's, don't start with the supplements and go from the top down. Always start from the base when we're trying to clean up our diet and eat healthier. Start with your calories and your macros and we'll go from there, okay? So stay tuned for the next week's video when we actually cover the base of the pyramid here, calories and macros combined. Thanks for sticking with me, everybody, and I look forward to shooting the next video for you.